Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No Our Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and today specifically we're going to cover green slash blue screen or the green screen effect feature in the new version of iMovie which is 10.0.1 and uh, it's the version of iMovie that you get through Mavericks. Now I'm going to open up iMovie here and uh, the best, this is going to be part one before I begin, um, this is going to be part one of iMovie because there's um, <laughs> part one of green slash blue screen um, settings. That way I can show you guys uh, in full detail of what, what the features and what you can all do with the green screen. Now, to begin, I'm actually gonna show you guys some clips that I have down here first. Um, if you look to the right hand side here, you'll see what the clip is, um, but I'm just gonna drag it along here and show you guys. Um, this is just a plain white wall. It's actually, if you tell you the truth, it's actually a blue wall. That I, there, but it came out white on my camera, so I just left it alone. And you can see here that it's just, it's not, it's nor green nor blue on the screen there. Then we have another clip here. This is actually my desk here that you're looking at, and uh, my hand on an orange paper, and in the background is a blue wall. And this is the wall is blue here, but it first I mean that came out white. It's supposed to be blue like that. And then now, and don't comment on my blue wall. I was like nine. <laughs> so there we are and uh, this is actually me on uh, I put a blanket up on the what is this uh, like the closet yeah that's the closet and uh, it's really dark blue normally you want a kind of a solid blue you don't want too dark too or too bright so there we are and uh, first let me just begin best way to explain this now is if you saw the three clips let me now drag this clip here in order you the way you do the green screen is you're gonna simply uh put the blue, you know, put the part that's with the green screen and whatever you want on top of this. Let's say, like you say, let's say you have your main footage or let's say you have an image here and uh, you have like a background of France or the Eiffel Tower, a background in this area here. And it's just a still frame or it's a video of people walking in the background. Now you can drag, let's say you recorded yourself, which I'm gonna cover in part two. Um, for example, this is going to be just my hand, and I'm going to put it right on top of this clip here. Now, you see, at the moment, it doesn't do anything, but we're going to go up, up to our adjustments, go under uh, the clips where we can actually adjust and put in the clip inside of our video. And then we're going to go, instead of cutaway, no, we're going to go straight to green slash blue screen. And as you'll notice, it did absolutely nothing. That's because there's no blue or green in this footage here in particular. So the best way... Um, from here is you can actually adjust the softness. You can tell like the edges of the video how they uh, they adjust and how um, how it's gonna look of the footage. But normally you want to keep it right in the center here. Then uh, to clean it up, this is like let's say some of the green screen parts didn't actually come out green. It came out a different color. You can actually cut it off at that part. That way you can show your background more. And the main main point of a green screen is you put you basically putting yourself or anything you want in a place that you really weren't. I, I don't know if that's a good explanation, but I might have a definition for you guys of a green screen in the uh, video description. But yeah, you see you can adjust it, crop it, basically cropping the video and what parts you want in the video and what parts um, you want the green screen to actually really show. Now now this here eraser tool, you can ba basically sell, like hit an area, ch choose a point in the video where it's the green didn't go all the way or it didn't disappear completely when you changed it to green blue screen um, you can select it and it will actually make it disappear automatically or sometimes let's say you have a solid color like this it will make it disappear completely like if I watch I'm gonna click on just right here and it's gonna make my hand disappear on top of this that's because it's not a blue screen nor is it a green screen so now if you look at you can see part of my hand in the background here so it didn't delete it completely because it didn't recognize it as that color that I had previously. So I'm going to click on my hand here on this and then you can see it disappeared my entire, I made my entire hand disappear because it found it as a different color than this. So most of it my hand disappeared. So you still have some of my hand here and I'm going to actually play this clip and you'll see my hand moving through there and you see my, actually yeah my entire hand disappeared there. It was just my face is there now that's not part of my hand so you see it's going right through and you can see the background now now let's go to a better example that was just a quick example of like let's say you didn't have any blue or green in your screen 
or of on what you recorded. Now let's go. This 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 is gonna get a little confusing with this one here. So just just pay attention to what it's doing. And here we have it as a cutaway right now. It's just in. Now just just look at it. Look at it real quick. The footage here. And now I want you to notice here also when I zoom into my hand, it, my hand kind of turns turns blue. So that if you notice something like you notice it actually disappear later on the footage when I change it to blue screen that's it's because it's recognizing it as a blue part of the screen so here yeah I'm gonna start off I'm gonna start off all the way back here I'm gonna select this clip at this point and then pay attention to the blue at the moment you're gonna go bl green blue screen now did you notice that um, basically this entire section here is now our background now let me play it and show you guys exactly what it's all there. And it is lagging really bad for some reason. Here we go. Let's retry that. See now my hands in it, and then my hand turns blue, so it goes. It change the the blue screen effect realizes that the hand's blue, so it's it's gonna change that blue part into like a visible through so you can actually do this like let's say you were to wear a blue suit or a green suit and you recorded yourself and with only like your head sticking out of the blue green suit you can make it look like your head's floating out in Paris or on the moon or something so that's how those how that that's how like those kind of effects are done and uh, if you just look at this one more time if it doesn't lag actually see how you see how it's going through my background that's the, it's recognizing the blue part of the screen and then it goes to my hand. Now, the best way also to learn this is just to play around with it and start out simple. And that's it's that's honestly the best way. Like the only thing I can do is do show you guys my explanation and how I use it, and which I'm gonna show you guys how I use it in the next, which is part two of iMovie, the last final part. Now here we are. We're gonna go one more screen. This is where we have the. I actually have my blue uh, blanket in the background, so I'm gonna place that here. Go straight to green blue screen, and you'll notice how all this background back down here, not the, not the not the top footage, the bottom footage here, will appear in this section. So it'll be basically two of me on one video. Here we go. I'm gonna go green blue. Should adjust. Well, let me check if it did it. I don't even think it did. It did it. Oh, it's recognizing my. That's weird. It's recognizing my. I just noticed that it's recon because of this the blue is so dark that it's recognizing my background. Actually, the background of this clip here as a as an actual um, <laughs> green screen for some reason. That's not what we wanted to do. So I'm gonna restart. Put it in here blue and green screen let's hope it cuts out the right part here we go that's what i wanted now you can see here yeah this is this is this is our original footage here and then all of a sudden here we go go straight to the blue screen and there we are and it keeps adjusting this because my the blue screen i use the blue blanket i use is not completely not a solid blue and there we are it just completely disappears and that's about it um i hope you guys uh, enjoyed part one i'm going to cover more in part two where i'm actually going to record uh, more, more like most uh, an entire video of me in a blue, green screen. Uh, I'm probably gonna use green, or no, I might just use a blue because it will probably match my room more. But because I'm gonna get some paper and uh, put it on the wall, it will be blue, solid blue, and um, hopefully it'll turn out well to explain the part two tutorial of the green slash blue screen more further. But other than that, if you have any questions right now, be sure to let me know. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and later. Life be the proof The proof of you